Hey, I'm here working on the car and uh, wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about engine size and uh, how we can explain uh, it with a little bit of mathematics. Now, this particular engine happens to be a 2.2 liter engine, which is a volume, 2.2 liters, or 2200 cubic centimeters. You can see right here on the, on the resonator. This is also 2200 milliliters, because of cubic centimeters a milliliter, uh, and that's also 2.2 liters. Now, before we can explain what some of those numbers mean, we have to look really briefly at a little bit about how an engine works. So I'm, I'm replacing the head gasket here, so I have all kinds of parts uh, taken off of it, so you can actually see the inside of the, the main part of an engine. So if you come in close, you can see. This is a four-cylinder engine, although you might have a six-cylinder engine or an eight-cylinder engine or a one- or two-cylinder engine on a motorcycle. The cylinders are these spaces inside the engine block, these cylindrical shaped spaces. And inside each cylinder is a piston that goes up and down. Now those pistons going up and down, uh, as they, what drives them is uh, fuel and air mixed together, squirted into each cylinder, and the piston compresses that, a spark plug lights that, and the force of that explosion pushes the piston back down. And they do this, they take turns doing this, and they drive a crankshaft underneath, and then that's where the power comes to, to propel the vehicle. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the crankshaft by hand, since I have all this disconnected, and you can see the pistons moving up and down. So, there's the pistons moving up and down, and as they do, they sweep through a, a volume a cylindrical shaped volume. Now I'm going to stop where that's right. Two of them are right at what you call top dead center and two of them are at what you call bottom dead center. They're the very lowest point and the very highest point. The engine size, 2.2 liters, is the total volume of the space that each of the four cylinders all together sweep out. Now we can uh, use a bit of mathematics to work that out and just confirm and see that uh, it is in fact 2.2 liters. So what I need to do that is to make some measurements here. I'm gonna measure two things on here. I'm gonna measure the diameter of this cylinder, which is also called the bore of the cylinder. That's about 8.9 centimeters. And I'm gonna measure the, the depth or the height of the cylinder, this space here which is also called the, the stroke of the, the cylinder. It's how far the, the piston strokes as it goes up from bottom to top. That's about 8.8 .8 centimeters. Now we're gonna use those two uh, numbers and work out the volume of one cylinder. And then if we multiply it by four, we'll have our total engine size, the, the displacement of all those pistons. All right, so let's go do that right now. All right, so first we need to work out the, the volume of one of the cylinders. I just call that V1. You may or may not know the volume of a cylinder. What you need is the circular area, cross-sectional area, which is pi r squared, area of a circle, times the height. All right, now the two numbers we had here were, uh, we need our radius. I measured the diameter. I had the diameter was 8.9. But what we actually need for this is we need the radius, and the radius is just half the diameter. Diameter divided by 2. So radius here is, you divide that by 2, you get 4.45 centimeters. So we're going to use that. Now, you have to remember, these are kind of approximate because, you know, it's the, 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 it's the best I could do with the ruler, but it might be slightly bigger or smaller than that. And the height was 8.8. .8. Now, if we work all that out, that's going to give us the volume of one of our cylinders. Now, on this calculator, you can actually punch it in exactly like that. 4.45 squared times 8.8. .8. Now, roughly 5.47. Not 5.47, 547. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Now, these numbers were, you know, that's the best I could do as measuring. So you could, you know, you could think about this as probably the best is 
you know, it's about 550. But either one of those numbers that you use, we have to, uh, we have to multiply by four because that's the volume of one of them. So volume of the entire engine is four times that volume that we got, which is four times, even if we put in the 547 here, uh, we're going to get something. Let's go uh, 547 times 4. It was about 2188. Remembering that these are all approximate because of our measurements. 2188, if I had done 4 times 550, I would have actually got the 2200. But it doesn't matter because even if the, the numbers come out like this, they usually just round them off when they tell you what the engine size is. So that's where that 2200 or 2.2 liters. This is 2200 centimeters cubed or 2.2 liters. All right. So that's where that engine size comes from. It's the total displacement, the total volume that's displaced by all the cylinders in the engine all together. All right. Sometimes you might hear it in liters, 2.2 liters. Sometimes you might hear it on smaller vehicles, motorcycles, uh, as cubic centimeters. Sometimes you might hear it as cubic inches, but it all refers to the same thing. The total volume that all of the cylinders in the engine displace as they move around. So now hopefully that makes some sense to you when you hear those numbers.